What's up guys, uh, c'est Pilote 509, Pilot Favona here. Uh, this is a short video guys on my training in a complex aircraft. And for my non-pilot friends on this channel, uh, once you get up your private pilot license, you will need a couple endorsements. One for sure is uh, an endorsement form uh, from your CFI in a complex airplane, stating that you can fly safely a complex aircraft. Uh, complex airplane are basically any planes that has a retractable landing gear. In other words, the wheels fold underneath the plane and that also has a controllable pitch propeller, just like this one. So let's get on board with me as I go through this first training that I did uh, earlier this month. Uh, and also, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, I invite you please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload any next video stay tuned all right boss outlaw traffic moon is seven Fox Delta uh, taking off on way one seven be reporting to the east outlaw traffic okay yeah, you can put that in if you want. This is my instructor, uh, Steve Wilson. He's the one that taught me how to fly, and he will be the one to endorse me in this plane. So the fuel pump. Uh, Make sure you look for traffic. Yes, I look. Okay. Fuel pump's there just in case the engine-driven pump fails. Fuel is at the same level or lower than the engine, so if you don't have a fuel pump, you're not going to get fuel to the engine. But yeah. the engine-driven pump is doing it, but we keep that that one on just in case it fails at the wrong time. The engine keeps going. It's called an engine. They make noise. Get that stick back. Keep back pressure on it. Get gear up. Gear up quickly. Ah! Yep. Push. Yeah. Make sure you get... That gear comes up pretty quickly. If you let that thing accelerate through to 100 mile an hour before you get the gear up, you're gonna work really hard. Flaps up, accelerate to 100. Full power, All right? Okay. See, full power is giving you about 29 inches almost. About good. All right. So how high are we going, boss? Uh, we can go to 2,500. We're going. We're not going far. Correct. I'll, I'll go with that. So you're still going up. You haven't leveled off yet. All right. Now when you reach about this speed, now you can pull your power back. Somewhere to 23. See how as I pulled it back, didn't change a thing on the prop, did it? Well, now, pull the prop back to about 24. No, no. Power's good. It's already 23. Put the power back up there. Put it back up, 22 at least. All right, that's good. Now pull the prop back. Unscrew it. All right. Right there? Put, yep, that's pretty good. 24 and then... Nope. Uh, yeah, you can do that. But make sure you level. You're still going up. Trim it. Trim it. Get it level. Now you're starting to get where it's smooth. Notice, you feel the difference? Because here's where it was. Feel that. Right? Put it in here. You feel it. There you go. Well, look. I thought we were stopping at 25 out of 17 inches. All right. Now be level. You're going to have to be on that trim. Level off at 1,700 RP feet and turn yourself in. Now you're in a position to make a 45 on the downwind, aren't you? And probably wide enough to give that other guy a little more room. Springfield traffic, morning, seven Fox Delta, entering a left downwind, runway two two. All right, now you can start easing your power back to where it was, just like you would on 150, 1,800 RPM, right? And we're going to see where i got a gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, gas is on. Right. Undercarriage is Lock. down. And got a mixture is in. 
Prop. Well, mixture's good. Mixture. Leave, it, leave it there. Yeah. And then prop in. All prop right, in. now, this way. Okay, get your power. Flaps. Okay, that's good. Not bad, actually. All right, I'll get your flaps to zero. I mean, to take off flaps, all right. Trim forward and go for it. 